And we back! Today is my last chance to go 82-0 in NBA 2K23. I want you to look me into my eyes and tell me if you can tell that this is a man determined to break the mold. I was just in Toronto, did a live show of my podcast, and one of the first questions I got asked from the view was there, is Kenny, will you ever go 82-0? I'm trying, all right? I'm, try I'm trying my best, man. Look, check it out, check it out. I got a different strategy this year around, and I, I, I can't guarantee anything. I went back into the film room, y'all. I watched every single time I've attempted to go 82 and 0 and wrote down all the mistakes. I've, I've righted my wrongs, and today is gonna be the day. Four days, three days, five, five days away from 2K24. Y'all gonna remember this moment. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. This right here is a huge, huge moment in the episode. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. We're running with the Orlando Magic. Let's see what number pick the Orlando Magic have today. Um, it's going to be the 19th overall pick. Okay, we, we can live with that. Now, if you're at home wondering what are the rules for the 82 and 0 challenge, basically the rule is I have four years to make it happen. I know everybody has their own rules. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's seven across YouTube. Today, I'm only doing four. Again, 82 and 0 is exactly what it sounds like. Going an entire season without losing the game. At least come regular season. What happens in the postseason doesn't matter to me. My team is James Harden, Zach Levine, Christian Wood, Devin Vassell, Bruce Brown, and so on and so forth. This team has to go 82 and 0 eventually. The first thing I want to do is trade the top end talent. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm trying to get as much draft capital as I can to start off with. Because James Harden holds no, no value for us. Because if we're talking about four years from now, he's going to be 38 when we're really trying to do the thing. So, and Zach, Zach Levine too. You know, he's going to start regressing by the end of the time. So, I think it's important right now to get either young players, like we're talking this year's rookies or sophomore year players, or draft capital. And not a single trade in the trade finder head draft capital. So what team does, uh, let's say, Gordon Hayward play for? Plays for the Clippers. This is his team. They're actually pretty solid. They don't need James Harden. But I'm saying, hey, give us Gordon Hayward. We give you uh, James Harden. But we want your this year's first round pick. We want your next year's first round pick. I know this, we're not going to be able to get away with all of this. They're saying no. Um, actually, the difference between Gordon Hayward and James Harden ain't even that, that crazy when it comes to the actual stars of the trade. We'll give you Bryce Centerball. They don't want to take on extra contract. Bro, it's like seven M's. It's not even nothing crazy. I will take away one of the picks. Uh, the deal. All right. So we got an extra two first round picks for James Harden. And I want to do something similar with Zach Levine. But if it's not first round picks, then it's got to be somebody young and really good. Now, that's a pretty valuable OKC pick as of now. We don't know if it's going to be valuable when the draft comes around. I really want to put together a trade to get like a scoot or a Wimby. Now, we're not going to be able to get Wimby, but like a Scoot will be pretty good. There's Scoot right here. He plays for the OKC team that was just talking to us. Uh, we give you Zach Levine. They got a lot of money to mess with. They're going to say no. Um, we're willing to also give up um, Christian Wood, and you could give you could give us back. Never mind. Just adding Christian Wood makes the contract so crazy. So instead of Christian Wood, it will be uh, Caleb Martin. They're going to say no. I'll give you one of the two Clippers picks that we just acquired. Um, do I want to give like a 2027? I'll give up a 2027. They still say no. Oh my God. They, I want Scoot or, you know, not maybe not Scoot specifically, but like a player of that caliber. Nikhil Alexander Walker in the first round pick from the Atlanta Hawks in 2026 is a trade we're going to do for Kayla Martin. Right now, I'm going to try to build up my draft capital that I can use to go get Scoot. I don't want to use my own first-round picks right now, so I'll use somebody else's. The Atlanta Hawks, that pick might be valuable eventually, uh, but that's not something we care about at the moment. There's a first-round pick uh, for our second rounder this year. We don't hate that, but we don't love it either. This is better. Completely unprotected first-round pick from Phoenix. Give us Larry Nance. There's two additional first-round picks to have on the roster that we can flip uh, Edmund Sumner and uh, Bruno Fernando together. You know, like, this is what we're doing. There, there's no stones that will be unturned. I've used that years. And every time we try this challenge, I say there's not going to be a single stone left unturned by us. There's a lottery protected jazz pick. Do we care about lottery protected? No, Davion Mitchell plus a top three protected. We'll do that one. Now let's go try to talk to the OKC Thunder again about Scoot Henderson. A Scoot Henderson Zion Williamson team sounds crazy. Here's Zach Levine again. They're going to say no, as they did last time. Now, nowadays, we have the uh, the Miami Heat pick. That, again, is not super valuable to them. We have the Atlanta Hawks pick. That's not super valuable to them yet. 
the Suns pick. That's still not it. Uh, t- <laughs> give us back Sadiq. But at this point, I'm just saying that I need this trade to happen. They're still saying no. And then we will give you our own 2025. Scoot, I swear to God, you better be you better, you better be worth every single pick. Oh, all right, so that's the first uh, big trade, or I guess second big trade because the Harden thing did happen. I don't know what this version of Scoot ends up being. I use a different roster a lot of different times. Obviously, this is not 2K official, you know, uh, creation of Wimby and all of those guys. But now I'm kind of curious. Is Scoot Henderson good enough to go get us Wimby? The answer is no. There's Cade Cunningham, which is very, very interesting because he ends up being a dog. Uh, but the other, other trades are really good, too. I want to just look at the Wimby value. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Um, they got Porzingis and Chris Stapps. I mean, they got Porzingis and Wimby, which is crazy. They also got Poku. Run them all together. Poku can run a three. All right. I would love to have Wimby because I've seen his domination in these videos before. I'll try it one time, but again, I can't give up too much just because we've already given up a lot to get Scoot on the roster. So Wimby's, yeah, Wimby's value is crazy. Um, yeah, this is not happening. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Maybe down the line, we'll make it happen. Okay. So now I kind of want to like flesh the roster, get more draft capital since we traded a bunch of it away. This is a year for the Orlando Magic for the Ultra Tank. I didn't even look to see who's in the draft class, but having, ooh, Clint Capella, having a top pick is extremely important to this challenge and hoping that 2k loads in a really good draft class is also important because this first year we need and i mean we need a generational star or somebody close to that because you get him under his rookie scale contract he's cheaper than some of the other dudes that you can get a free agency and stuff so you know that that's where my mind is at right now i'm gonna trade for rj barrett why not you know it's okay to have a couple okay players on the roster at least for the next 37 seconds before we we flip him in another deal but zach levin can come back and we do this this whole merry-go-round with Zach Levine now. Top three protected pick for this year from Minnesota. I like that a lot. Uh, we can make it four through something potentially. We'll take that. We're going to trade for J-Dub. That's a guy that can stay on the roster for, for the foreseeable future. That's a huge trade. I don't know what he turns into in 2K. But if he turns into what he could potentially turn into in real life, then I feel really good about having him on the roster for the long term. Protected first round pick from the Atlanta Hawks and Marcus Smart. And then I might make two more trades or so. Um, to see who else we could get as far as draft capital. Marcus Smart's too good to be on this team. Uh, we'd rather him go somewhere else to maybe compete. This ain't the place to compete. If you want to compete this year, this is not the spot. Is this team bad enough to lose? We're not trying to go 0-82. We just want to be the worst team in the league to have the highest. One of the three worst teams in the league to have the highest odds. Um, we got Walker Kessler too. Like, come on, bro. I don't know what he's going to want to get paid in a few years. But we walk out of there with that. And then let's sh- let me show you my treasure trove of draft capital boom this year alone we got one two three four five six of them things next year we got four of them things and we're gonna keep adding to the to the roster you know we on our sam presti right now first round pick no we don't want to give up any first rounders and we start off the first two weeks of the season with one win we feel good about being bad for year number one they were from b to Jokic in philly that's interesting when we won rookie of the year i'm not surprised even though i'm sure that we did have Scoot play pretty solid. Would you average Scoot? Scoot averages 16, 7, and 5. That's really, really dope number, Scoot. All right. Um, we won a total of 24 games, which I think th- that didn't put us at the very bottom, but it put us very close to it. Uh, 13th, one game difference between us. We should have tanked those last couple games of the season. Yep, yep, yep. But out east, uh, oh, I'm sorry, out west, uh, it was a lot more competitive. So we will have one of the top three percentages to get the first overall pick. Which is good. We'll take that. Dane versus Jason Tatum in the finals. And they see Tatum. I'm sorry. Dane end up winning it. Great. Are we ready, y'all? This draft lottery holds a lot of weight right now. It holds a lot of weight. So, our Orlando Magic are there. But we also have the Clippers pick who also missed the playoffs. And we end up with three. We end up with 13, 16, 21, and 29. Great. I'm not tripping. Because you package some of those picks together, you're going to get the first overall pick. But is this draft class worthy of it? I did do some scouting. The answer is yes. The first overall pick guy is is Abraham Sims. Abe Sims, he is a two-way play shot. And he is a 6'7 point guard. You know what I tell y'all about them tall point guards, baby. If, if there's anybody to go get, it's the tall point, tall point guards. But there's also another really solid player here. 19-year-old Keon Wright, center, 7'2", 
234, they compare him to Hakeem or Yao Ming. And then Sims is Big O or Kyrie. Whoa. Okay. Um, no significant weaknesses on that part. No significant weaknesses. Uh, this is... Oh, no. Having a guard that has A-plus play and A-plus shooting. Okay, what does Keon have? Let's let's give the due diligence. He has A rebounding, A minus inside scoring, um, B plus potential versus what potential over here? A, I know who I want. It's the reason he's the number one prospect in the draft. Okay, I forgot who had the first overall pick, but are you willing to forego that? So, so can we get both? We could, probably could. Should we want both? I don't know. So we'll give you the third overall pick. Boom, they're going to say no. They want our 2026. So we can keep the third overall pick. We can keep the, th are we, I mean, no, 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 no. We're giving up the third overall pick. We keep the 13th, 16th. We don't need all of those picks. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna accept that. And then is there anybody else in this draft class other than the one or two guys that we're interested in? We have this shooting guard who's 21, a straight sharp shooter, not a great defender. Uh, uh, Jay Sean McGee, just straight shooter. We don't really need that. Another point guard. You like Kenny? Why get a point guard and Abraham Zims? You already got school with this guy's six, seven. I think he'll be okay if we slide him over. Um, is this center good? Like, is there like a low key center? He's 19 years old, seven, six. He rebounds well, defense is solid, a uh, good mid range shooter, but can't score in the paint. JaVale McGee or JaVale McGee. I like JaVale McGee, but I'm not trading enough to get a JaVale McGee player. This guy from Puerto Rico, Aguilar is projected to go on like, I don't know, 14, 10 through 14 ish. He's got all-star upside, but he's also 23. Six, six shooting guard could be CJ McCollum or Larry Hughes, but he's six, six. So he can't be CJ McCollum. Not a defender. We're going to pass. I don't know if there's anybody else in this draft class. I really 19 year old center and they're projecting Tyson Chandler. That's not bad. Tyson Chandler made an all NBA team. He was team USA, a, a starter um, or JaVale McGee. Good rebounder. Good blocks. Block, blocks guy. He's projected to go 19 ish. We could probably get him with our 13th overall pick. All right. Brian Willis. Brian Willis. Um, Add to the big board. We're, we're looking at you, my boy. And then the rest of the picks we don't need. So I'm trying to, should I just flip them for later, like other picks? Let's try to see if we can package 16 and 21 for somebody's pick in 2025 or something. Utah Jazz first round pick for next season. Abnett Sumner comes back to the team. And then I think, yeah, we only need two first round picks. We don't need more than that. We just looked at all the top prospects. Philly has the MVP of the league, so we don't want to give get their first round picks. We'll take a future first round pick from the Grizzlies. They're probably good. It don't matter. All right. We're going to walk out with Sims and hopefully was named Brian Willis. Those will be our two guys. We'll pick number one and pick number 16. Let's hope that Willis stays um, on the board. Here we go. They, they ooh. Let me look at these mock drafts one more time. Let me see mock drafts. Yeah. Does everybody have Willis? Go, I mean, uh, Abraham going first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th th don't overthink this. Uh, Abraham Sims. Can we draft you? Hello? Welcome to the team. Boom. 27 and a half points per game was top of the nation this past season. Thank you, man. So Keon goes to, as we knew, Boyd goes there. I don't care. Show, show me my guy still being on the board. Please tell me he's still here. Sinners, he's gone. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. He went fifth? They saw what we saw. They saw what we saw. We tried to snag him later, and his numbers look good. He can shoot the three a little bit. Uh, I am going to probably trade for this man. Uh, the blocks is not as good as I thought it was going to be. The rebounding is really good. The defensive consistency is really low. Maybe we overthought it, and this guy's not as good. But he is only 19 years old. Now, he didn't. Ha he doesn't have to come to the team and be Shaq. Three badges. Uh, let's just see. Let's go see what the, what he's worth to the other team. It was the Pistons. And if he's too valuable, we let him go. But if he's not too valuable. We'll, we'll try to pick him up, but unfortunately, he doesn't pop up there. We got to do like a Trey Finder thing, right? Trey Lyles in 13. The Pistons, are you going to are you gonna bite? Answer is no. The Pistons did not put their name in the hat. We take, we'll give you the 76ers top pick for next year. Again, they, they had the MVP of the league and nothing. Okay, no big deal. We're not worried about it. He just didn't, and we'll just take this guy. He was projected to go in the top 10. He fell all the way down. He is just a shooter, but we, we can take shooting. We can take shooting there. Um, yeah, man, got, he looks good, though. He looks good. We, we tried it. We tried, and he didn't end up falling. Um, the mock draft kind of sold us on there, didn't it? A pass first wing drafted in the second round. He looks bad. Let him go. Uh, Roddy Blake also can't shoot, but he's a center. Can you, can you do some other stuff? Interior defense, no good. So we'll just take our top two lottery picks, and we'll move on to uh, bring back players that should be here. I feel good about this season. LeBron, Kawhi, um, 
we have the money to throw Kawhi a bag. Is that the smartest thing to do? Oh, he, he's going to the Grizzlies 100%. Uh, we got money to sign somebody. Paul George is definitely going to regress. And he's probably going back to where he... No, his offers are not good. But it is the Grizzlies trying to get in on that. We traded James Harden early in the season. He's got no good offers. LeBron has just tried to retire, so it don't make sense for us to try to go get him now. I'm going to trade Tim Hardaway Jr. right now just to open up a little bit more money, hopefully to somebody for TJ, TJ Warren. Same same overall, same overall. Just say $15 million. Kawhi, I want you on the team, my boy. Player option, no trade clause. This is the most money we could give him. And he will not be coming to the Orlando Magic. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. We're okay with that. Now, I do want to spend this money now because next season, it won't really be there because we have to bring back certain players. So we might bite the bullet on Paul George. He's going to drop. But if anything, he's a trade piece for the next season. Uh, Harden is going to drop as well from my experiences. LeBron again tried to retire. So we'll try to go get Paul George. And since he doesn't have any real offers, we can probably lower it a little bit to like, let's see, yeah, let's say 37 a year. And that's going to be his best offer. We might be having Paul George on the team in a second. And since we have so many other people's first round picks, I'm not tripping about being bad this season. You know, we don't need to be bad. We, we can we can go out there and compete. Now, we're not going to win a championship or nothing, but we're here for progression. Um, we're, we're here to see Scoop get better. We're here to help Sims be in the right position to be good. So let's see play progression. Fingers crossed on the Paul George stuff. He stays the same. That's a dub, bro. That's a dub. Walker jumps up to J Dub jumps up to Scoot jumps up five. That's amazing for us. Uh, Devin Vassell jumps up two, and then Davion Mitchell off the bench looking pretty solid at 25, jumping up four. And it is time for the Sims show to start, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, after this season, my goal is to cash in my chips. After this season. Um, first thing you want to do is make Paul George a small forward, make Sims a shooting guard. He stays the same. Let's make some secondary positions go. Boom. So our new lineup looks like this. Scoot, Sims, Paul George, J-Dub, and Walker Kessler. Off the bench, we have Devin Vassell, uh, Davion Mitchell, and so on and so forth. I think this is a solid team, maybe even a playoff team. First game of the season is a loss. Um, Sims' NBA debut is 11-6-5. Paul George looked pretty good in that first game. All good. If we don't make the playoffs, that's fine, too. Of course, we're going to always do our scouting. They're thinking, oh, this class does not look good strictly off this. But this is before we did scouting. But it didn't, this don't make me feel good. A C is the number one overall pick. We might want to trade all of our draft capital right now. Because this draft class looks buns. Now, we do have Devin Vassell and Max Struess's contract. That together would give us $30-plus plus million to maybe get another Max player. We throw some first-round picks. Um, what position do we upgrade? Maybe upgrade J-Dub. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to progress as good as we think he could. Let me just quickly look at his star value because that tells a lot. Four star there, three and a half star, f almost five star, four star. and then, Yeah, okay. So it, this kind of tells you that they don't see Jalen Williams as like a superstar eventually. So we might be willing to, you know, trade him or something along those lines. But let me simulate. Um, it's time to make a bigger, bigger splash. Um... I'm thinking a guy like Jason. T oh, Jason Tatum's only got one year left. No, we can't trade for him now. We're gonna have, if we want to get Tatum, we gotta wait. Oh, he's gonna probably take that player option. We need somebody that we know is gonna be under contract for years, or at least the duration of this video. And that's why I thought that Tatum's contract went longer. I don't know why I thought that. And we wanted a wing, and Tatum obviously, as of right now, was the second best player in all the ball. Maybe he's still worth taking that risk on then. You know, he's Jason Tatum. Or do we go to go get one of the centers? Um, where's Wimby at nowadays? 88, you know? Oh, he plays for the same team as that Keon guy. The other center that was the second overall pick center. Um, go going to get... We just want to use our assets right now. Because this draft class, I'm going to show you, it's not very good. The top end talent is like this. And they're older. And I mean, this guy has potential, I guess. But for the most part, it's not one of the ones that's a generational talent. So I kind of want to offload all these picks now. Why they still hold value? Because those other teams ain't doing any research like they should. Like, what about Zion? Is that good? Zion, $36 million. We're going to throw in uh, Devin Vassell. We throw in um, Max Struess. They got to give us back a player. This is not a player-centric trade. Obviously, these players don't have a ton of value out there. Um, but but maybe maybe you want Jay Sean McGee, who hasn't played for us yet. But look, Jay Sean McGee is nice enough that i probably want to keep him never mind never mind uh he's nice enough that i probably want to keep him but that's why we give you the philly pick one of these picks is gonna be valuable wait we don't want to spend it on zion then even though zion is crazy good 
We this pick? Wait, what are the Clippers doing right now? The, Clip, the Clippers gotta be the worst team in basketball at this moment. Western Conference, they're they're basically that. See, I knew those picks go. That was the James Harden trade, by the way. Um, and he left, and they like, oh snap. Okay, so now we 100% gotta go get like a um, jo uh, Joel Embiid, Jokic type player, right? Because that draft pick is so crazy. So let's start off with the best player in the league currently, Nikola Jokic. Same thing, um, same structured deal. I might even be willing to give them Walker Kessler because we are talking about the best player in ball who just won an MVP and might win it again. He's averaging a triple-double at the center position. So I am willing to give up Walker Kessler in this one and give the Max Struess. Oh, no, because contractually it's not going to work. Hold on, hold on. We're going to make we're gonna make all of this make sense. we got to make up $6 million. Uh, Davion Mitchell is just going to be a little bit too expensive as a backup, so we give them that. And they give us back K to base Diop. And now our contract off uh, is looking awful. So we give them, uh, see, this is this is about to make this so much more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, give us back Kevin Love. Okay, cool. They think they're a championship team, but not when I give you this Clippers pick. Boo! No, if they think they're a championship team, oh my God. Both of those picks are ridiculous. But if they think they're a championship team, then it's probably not a lot we can do. I'm going to do Paul George plus the Clippers pick in the trade finder. Steph Curry. Our guard position is already crazy, but he's Steph Curry. Trade, trade, trade for Steph Curry. Great. All right. Tr Steph Curry in the trade finder can get us Joel Embiid. You know, this is what I'm saying. You, you, you leverage the players. There's Tatum. There's Giannis. Sheesh. Uh, Giannis is only on one year deal though. So I don't, again, I don't know if we, we might keep Curry around because he's Steph Curry for one, but also, um, Sheesh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we could go get Paul George back and get our Jazz pick. Walk out with... That's too much. That's too much. How do we play this? See, these are the moments I feel like I fumbled the most, where there's so many different options that I don't know what to do. I'm going to try to get Joel Embiid for Steph Curry, right? Uh, the way I'm thinking about it is Steph Curry's 36. We still got a couple more years until we really try it, and he probably is going to be regressing. Joel Embiid is only 30, and he probably will still be decent. Um... What did they say? Uh, they give up too much for a starting center. Okay, we'll give you Isaiah Hardenstein, who's obviously the next starting center that you're going to care about. They want Isaiah Roby. They give us Amin Thompson. That's an easy trade. I mean, yeah, we're giving up a, we're giving up Steph Curry for Joel Embiid. I, I understand. It don't, for some people, it's not going to make sense, but for us, it will. All right? For us, it will. Trust, trust me. And then now we still have the opportunity to do this, this, and I mean, Amin Thompson can can add some extra value, but we won't do that. Instead, we will try to use get that Jazz pick out of here. Um, so we'll trade back for Paul George um, and that Clippers pick. All right, both of those picks are going to be really bad. So our new star lineup is like this. It's really solid. Because um, that pick is still going to be valuable in the offseason because that team is not getting no better. Right? So it's going to be a top three pick that we can pair with Paul George in the offseason to go get a 95 plus plus some other first round draft capital. That's the way I'm thinking about it. That's how we're going to use our offseason or our trade deadline right now. And I feel good. I think we're setting ourselves up for some great stuff. Jokic, we, we want Jokic. We might end up with Jokic. I'm going to try my hardest. The man is doing some crazy stuff. We do get Ricky of the Year or Abe Sams. Um, 19, 7, and 3 at the shooter guard position is pretty good. Uh, almost, I'm going to say almost 50, 40, 90 because his free throws went there. But he shot really, really well, almost 50-40 on the things that matter the most. Chris Middleton, six man in the Pacers, and so on and so forth. Did we make the playoffs? It's not really relevant. The answer is yes, we're the three seed. Will we win the championship as the three seed? Maybe. I don't care. Until the, the goal is to go 82-0. and 0. <laughs> You're losing the first round. Uh, okay. Um, that, that, that's fine. Tatum versus Zion this time around. This time, Tatum ends up winning after last time, I think, losing. This is why we didn't go for LeBron. We knew that was going to happen. See, I was, just, I was playing it smart. Here we go. Draft lottery. Um, we have the second overall pick. Okay, so we knew that was going to be the case. We knew he was going to have a top pick from the Utah, dra Jaff, Utah Jazz draft pick. We also got number 27 from somewhere else. Um, but now we use that pick uh, to get, get it going. I don't know what that means yet. I don't, I, I don't know what it means to get it going right now, but we're we going to try to get it going. Like, dang, y'all got two $50 million contracts? It seems like y'all need to get one away. <laughs> No, we don't, we don't, we're not going to do that right now. Um, let's see exactly what we should be thinking about. This is a big year for School Henderson's progression. Uh, he's kind of progressing slower than I anticipated. This needs to be like a plus five, four year, plus four year for us. I don't know what Sims is going to progress to. Uh, Paul George could potentially get moved here again, like I mentioned earlier. 
Um, our center position is cool. Like, bring back. If this is our center core for the 0 and 80 or the 82 and 0 run, we feel really good. Power four could use some help because I, I just don't know what J Dub is up to. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay, okay. So, Tatum is the number one priority, but again, he did not accept his player option because that's after the draft. So, we can't trade him right now. And we don't want to use the draft pick because that guy is not going to be as valuable as a four star pick. So, we could go like the Booker route. He's 6'5. He would be shorter than Sim. We can move Sims over to the three. I think I think his defense is pretty good. He can run some three. We could go out there for maybe Devin Booker. The Zion thing is just there, though. It's just staring me in the face. I'm going to try to get Zion Williamson, man. Um, who said won't? Who won't resign? Who is that? What? What? Why would you? What, 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 just because you lost your starting spot for the second half of the season, man. We're trying to do some big things. You got to accept. Uh, oh, since we don't have a lot of people under contract, we have to give in the hypothetical... To make this happen, we'd have to give up Paul George. Gotcha. Because we don't have other contracts. Everybody else is on some some expired deals. Steph Curry could potentially be back. And I'm trying to figure out the rationalization. We can move Sims over to the three, scoot to the two. That's a small backcourt, but talent is talent. It's Steph Curry, Steph Curry. 24-year-old Anthony Edwards. It's maybe a better trade piece. There's Book. We thought we wait, 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 wait. Anthony Edwards is 24. Book is 28. Book is probably stopping at 95, but 95 is really good. You see his numbers. He was amazing this season. Anthony Edwards at 24 might hit 95 this season. Both of them under contract for uh, multiple years. Who would we rather have right now? Uh, I, the reason I'm not going to trade for Steph, one year contract plus 37 years old. He's going to be a 93, 94 next season. It's not, it doesn't make sense for me to accept, accept that right now. It's Ant-Man or Book. And right now, Book is the better player. But at 24, Anthony Edwards could do that. He's also smaller at 6'4", but he don't look 6'4", long arms. Anthony Edwards is probably the move because he's going to hit 95. Anthony Edwards, welcome to the team, man. Anthony Edwards, welcome to the team, man. Okay. All right. I feel solid at the moment. Um, I feel like we're, we're doing some good stuff. We still have Lonnie Walker here. And... Some picks. Is there like a dude still on his rookie contract? That, that man, Clay Capella, playing for free. Is there a rookie contract, scale, like a rookie scale player? Not right now. Um, J.D. McDaniels for show, but that's not bad. But we don't think he's going to get better. Okay. We we keep our pick at the moment. I'm not even going to go to the draft. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? 27th overall pick. That guy's not even going to make the rotation in these next two years. Yeah, he's not even getting this contract. I'm not spending $4 million on that. No, 70 overall, get out of here. Like, just look at how young the team is. I'm in Thompson should get better once player progression hits. Uh, we already mentioned these two dudes. And then Tari Eason and J-Dub. I mean, there's a world. Hello, Ben Caro at the four. He's going to hit 90 this season. I need to not, at this point in the video, I, I don't need to rely on Trey Finder. Um, I need to go find the best player still on a rookie scale deal. And it might it might be Palo, honestly. But I, I got to, you know, do my due diligence and check everywhere. It's Wimby. Um, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I don't think it's going to happen. But Palo's there, too. Uh, did Wimby win DPO wide receiver? I think it went to Anthony Davis, but Wimby's going to be in that conversation very, very soon. He averaged two blocks and a steal a game, so he's very close to that. Let me, I'm going to try it again with the Wimby. Um, worst case, we move Wimby over to the four, so we give them J-Dub. Uh, we got to make a five million, so we give them J-Dub, Lonnie Walker, and then now we pile on the Bucks pick. We pile on the Celtics pick that's lottery protected. We pile on this Grizzlies pick, and we pile on this Rockets pick. It's not enough. Now, we still do have, like, Tari Eason and, and McGee. McGee's pretty good. They still say no. Okay. Because um, we won't be able to pay all of these rookie scale players, right? All of these dudes are hitting free agency next season. So, though we really like Tari Eason, he's one of the guys, we might be willing to give it up in, a, in one of these trades. But right now, it don't seem like that's a likelihood. And, yeah. Okay. So, we, we tried the Wibanyama thing. It's not going to work. We did see Paolo Bencaro who is a lot easier. Paolo is actually in the trade finder, so it's not going to be hard to get Paolo. It's J-Dub, it's Lonnie Walker for Paolo Bancaro. Cool. There we go. And now we just use our middle of exception to go get a, a uh, backup small four because we're moving Ant over. Um, and that's going to be our offseason. We hope that player progression does us nicely. I didn't even stop at player progression. I didn't stop. I was afraid. I was afraid we're going to go straight to the next season and see what the lineup looks like. I think we should be really, really good this year. Um, yeah. Okay, 490s, and Sims is very close. 
Walker Kessler is the best backup center in all of basketball. It's not even close. Um, Amin Thompson is one of the best backup point guards in ball. Only problem is I'm afraid that we won't be able to sign all these people uh, come next season. But the, the the team is speaking for itself, baby. We look real good. We look. Oh, no, 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 no. John Isaac, what are you doing? Boom, we do this. And then, yeah, Anthony Edwards is now at three. I almost had John Isaac starting over our guy Sims. That looks so much better. That looks so much better. Wow. Um, let me go out there and J Jamal Mosley is really good. Um, but I think we could do better. And it's going to have to be Herb Fleming. He's got post centric, which actually don't hurt. Uh, don't hurt us too bad because we have Joel Embiid on the roster, and um, he is the best, one of the two best centers of basketball. System proficiency actually works better for seven seconds or less, or balanced. So her might get, <laughs> he might get fired. Um, for he had the job for thirty six seconds. Uh, let's look at our candidates again, and the best balanced guy is Harry Palmer. But should we just wait to the offseason? Because next year is the last year for all of this. So maybe we wait to the offseason. We run it the way it is. Our 0 and 80, our 82 and 0 season is already ended in the second game of the season. Um, I'm trying to figure out is there a way to level this up again? You know what I mean? Because next year, again, Sims is gonna be even better. He's got the 34 badges. He's gonna get better. Uh I play up aggression is gonna do a lot. As long as we can keep the dudes on the roster. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking too much. I'm thinking too much. We just get to the offseason. Get to the offseason. And then we do the final touches of this challenge. And hopefully go 82-0. There's that Tatum fella who we wanted so desperately. Wins his first MVP. Um, this guy was a third overall pick. Keon is the sixth man of the year because he's backing up uh, Wimby. Why don't they just trade Wimby away to let him get the keys to the car? Oh, because Wimby's winning the PO. <laughs> Oh, man. Brian Willis. All of these players we want. Brian Willis is the guy that we wanted a few years back. He looks really good. He's only an 80, though, so I'm not tripping. We win 72 games, so we weren't even the best team of all time, which is, again, fine. This is the year, right? Because, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the offseason that everything gets better. This is the offseason. Uh, we're in the finals, and are we going to go? Uh, we always win 16-0. We win 16-1. Anthony Edwards wins finals. That's not what this is about. We knew that we can build a championship team. That's something we've done for years. One thing we haven't done, oh, we also have the fourth overall pick. One thing we haven't done is build an 82 and 0 team. And that's what the goal is at the moment. Um, Walker Kessler's like, no, get me out of here. You know what, Walker? I will get you out of here if you really, really want to get out of here. So we got the fourth overall pick with really no means to improve it. I mean, Anthony Edwards got up to a 96 throughout the course of the season. And we'd be, cr yo, wait, oh my God. I'm not going to do this. But trading for one year Jimmy Butler, zero dollars, opens up $41 million in cash. I'm not going to do it because it's a glitch, it's a bug, and I not I will not let that be the reason we, we finally beat this challenge. But that's insane. I mean, boy, if I had no more, if I had no morals, I probably would have done it. But I'm a man of honor, you know. How do we leverage this? Fourth, or what was it? Fourth overall pick without having people to pair with it. We can trade up to number one. I'll do that. I ain't even look at this draft class. This might have a stud up top. Uh, <laughs> it does it. It does it. Wiggins. All right. Um, doesn't have a stud up top, but I got the first overall pick. I got it. And we could use that with uh, JRE. Yeah, this is this is tough, man. I probably draft with the first pick. <laughs> <laughs> the Jimmy Butler thing is staring me in the face. Adding Jimmy Butler to the roster for zero dollars. I can't, again, I'm a man, I'm a man of morals, a man of honor, so I won't do it. And you're asking, Kenny, why don't you accept these other trades? I mean, you got 90 overall players, because we're going to have to spend a lot of money to re-sign the players we already have. So we got the first pick. Let's go use it. Most of these places have us taking Omar Santiago, so that's who we're going to take. Um... Even though he might be the, he's got the highest overall. So, uh, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna be decent. He's gonna be decent. He's gonna be decent. He's gonna be decent. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Walker just pay gets got paid a lot of money. We pair him with Santiago in the Celtics pick. Um, Trey Finders Buns. That's okay. That's okay. There's Lamelo Ball. That's really good. Um, this is our last year, so we can Trey Finders not gonna be the way we do it, right? Um, we also re-signed Paolo for a ton of money. Don't look at me like that. We, we, we gonna make it work because I believe because we have some extra draft capital plus really good young players, Tatum 
maybe not off the table. Jimmy Butler's with Steph Curry making zero dollars because he just led a game. I still can't believe that. Giannis is regressing, but he's still a 96. I'm adding him to the list. You know, I feel like our two guard positions are really good. In our center, obviously, we have Joel Embiid, who's tied for one of the best players in ball. It's important for us to prioritize like a Tatum type and use Walker Kessler in order to make that happen. But the, it's, it's, it's a bit iffy. It's definitely a bit iffy, to, you know what I'm saying? But he, he plays for the Timberwolves. We're going to make it happen. Got a no trade clause. Dang. Will he be willing to waive it, maybe? He's got a no trade clause, guys. That kind of kills the idea of making it happen. Yep. Ah! I've been wanting Tatum on the roster, bro. I've been wanting him on the roster. No matter what we do, he's just saying, he, nah, he's Minnesota now. I just, that sucks. That's just, objectively, that's just bad. Uh, he's so good. He's so talented. He's, we had, I think we had the, I think we had the package. Giannis, also, no trade clause. But he didn't waive his. Hold on, Giannis. You're thinking about Orlando, aren't you? You're thinking about Orlando, aren't you? Um, the Rockets pick. Okay, yeah. These picks don't have value right now. Um, we, 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 Giannis didn't waive it. I mean, he didn't He didn't use his no trade clause. So, they want Joel Embiid off in the first. Not happening, buddy. What about the old man, Kevin Durant, who's 37? Um, we give them Walker Kessler. We got to make up about $12 million. So we give them a uh, Santiago, former first overall pick. Kevin Durant is not waving or not using his no trade clause. Come on, Kevin. I know you like the weather in Orlando. I know you're in that big market of New York City, but ain't nothing better than what we got here. I don't want to give up Amin Thompson because we're going to need some people to be on the bench, right? I'm thinking about running a smooth like seven, but throwing all of this for Kevin, who's 37 and might regress. Doesn't make sense to me. But doing it for Giannis maybe makes a little bit more sense because he's only 31, you know? This is a lot. This is a lot. And that's not even me adding first round picks to it. If we do this, we're running a smooth seven and our bench will be kind of bad. This is where things get interesting, man. I'm going to do it at the beginning of the next season. Let's see what this player progression looks like. Sims is great. So we have five, our whole starting lineup is 90 plus. Kessler off the bench is hitting 89. Amin Thompson is sitting at 87, and then Jay Sean McGee. How did you perform last season? I don't even know. 47% from three is crazy. Um, we need to level this team up. We need to level it up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is the very last season. We got like five first-round picks to mess around with. I, I, I got to sit here for, for so long. I, I got to make sure that at the end of the day, once we start hitting that simulation, that this is the team that we believe can go 82 and 0. First thing I want to do is check to see if Kevin regressed and he didn't. He did not waive his no trade clause last season. First official trade we will do is this one overall difference. You see Jokic's numbers, you see him win multiple MVPs. We're trading for Nikola Jokic, okay? That's the first trade. This whole video we've been afraid to trade for Curry because we thought his overall was going to change a bunch. He is still a 95. I'm doing it and this is a lot. It is. Scoop I, he's just Curry's just better and we're trying to go 82 and 0 so Scoop I gotta wash my hands Steph Curry welcome to the team we have Curry Edwards Jokic as our top three we still have Sam's and the Palo Bancaro piece is still out there with Santiago in the Celtics pick we, we could potentially get Zion that's what I was this is exactly the trade I was thinking about could potentially get Zion Jokic and Zion as my four and five does not make me super happy defensively. I say that much. But if you, if you, you do I care? You tell me. We have five, our whole starting lineup is 94 and above. And like I said, no stone, unturned. I can't lie. I just really, really want Jason Tatum on the team, bro. Tatum at the four on this lineup instead of Zion would be unbeatable. It just would. It just would be unbeatable. All right, so I think our starting lineup is set, right? I, I think we feel good there. Now it's about making sure the few people that we have on our bench we feel good about. I feel good about Amin Thompson's ability to do stuff even though he cannot shoot. Um, I feel good about this guy because he can shoot. But we have no bench depth as far as the big man position goes. Now, I will test Amin Thompson, like I said, no, no stone. Uh, but I just don't know if we're going to get anything better than him as a backup one. Yes, we do. Hey, Scoot. You ain't sold your apartment yet, have you? As a backup. Okay. All right. And Jay Sean, we got to see. We got to see, man. I, man, you were kind of a steal, low-key. I didn't expect you to be this good, this quick. 
Uh, but yeah, the, because he's still on his rookie scale deal, it's just not going to happen. What we need is to find other players on rookie scale deals like we did earlier in the video and hope that that helps. Um, but the problem is the Jimmy Butler. Oh my God, I want Jimmy Butler zero contract on the team. Um, that's our guy. Okay, here's Scoot Henderson, our guy. So the two best rookie scale contracts are on the team already. And you keep the further you go down, the harder it becomes. I mean, this is not a rookie scale deal. But I don't know if we'd be able to make that money. But Michael Porter Jr. at 89 overall could help. Keon Wright, I don't think we'll have the, the assets to get him. But we'll try. He's still on his rookie deal. Brandon Miller. Didn't progress like his counterparts, but still look really good. Mitchell Robinson's making 11... A Mitchell Robinson at $11 million is something for the Cavs. We can make $11 million happen, I believe, with some players that we don't even really care about. This is what they're thinking, so... Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm saying no about that. Yeah, oh, yeah, I said $11 million. We need to get people that's making $7 million, and I don't know if we got that. I don't think we have that. Tatum, yeah, these guys don't work. This was 16 million. Keon was, I think, 11 million because he's a second overall pick. Yeah, 11 million. And then Brandon Miller is 15. I'm going to go try the Keon deal for the Hornets, but he's so valuable. I feel like I could throw all of my first round picks and they're not going to budge. He's almost a 90. Yeah, look at this trade value. Yeah, it's not happening. We got to make up a 7 million. Yep, yep, yep. I, I don't know if there's going to be other trades that make sense for us at this point. I mean, the best thing we can do is use these two dudes in a pick to go get. We need like a backup center. Like, who's the best rookie scale center? I mean, less than rookie scale center, basically. That's what we're looking for. A center that's making $6 million. <laughs> uh, we got people free agency. C come hoop. Come hoop for the guys. What we can do is wait for them to actually sign to somebody and then trade for them then because they were signed for a low amount of money. Um, Carlos Aguilar, 82. Do we? Is that good enough? Form 11th overall pick? I don't know. This is what we got to do. We make it a eight-man rotation right now. We, uh, we go a week into the season. Wait for those dudes to get picked up, and then we trade for them. Oh, none of those games were even close. Okay. Okay. Now that they are probably on rosters, we can we can go talk. Who I forgot who it even was, right? It was Jared Allen. Yep. Mark Williams. Yep. $2 million. Yep. Wendell Carter, Rudy Gobert. Okay. We'll stop, start there. And then we also got people like Keegan Murray. The list is full. Okay, wait, wait. Let's, let's go eliminate some of these people off the list. This is how we're going to play this game. This is how we're going to play this. This is what we got to do. We just need two more players. Not even really. We kind of just need one more player, but I'm going to try to get two for the security aspect of it. Like J-Dub, come back to the team, baby. J we prioritize J-Dub right now. $2 million? Um, we give you P.J. Washington. P.J. Washington is too expensive, bro. Stop playing. Uh, we, we give you uh, uh, Frank Kaminsky. And then we only got four first round picks. That would be all of it. would probably take all of them plus some seconds to even have them think about this. And it's they probably won't even. Yeah, they're not considering it. They're not considering. It. Yeah. OK. Uh, who was the other guy? <laughs> Let's go get uh, Jared Allen, I think. Let's go get Jared Allen. And he's playing for a team that sucks. Um, or do we want Mark Williams? OK, let's go talk to the Rockets about Jared Allen. He could be possibly the missing piece. We give them... Why is everybody so over the the tax and stuff? We give them Frank Kaminsky. They won Junior. Are we willing to give up Junior? Junior's kind of valuable. Can we ask, ask for somebody else? Cam Whitmore. Y'all don't really got nothing else. This week, LT. Yeah, y'all got had it, man. Y'all got had it. Okay, so we have our backup center. Is he perfect? No, but he, he's Jared Allen at 28 years old. He's going to make it happen. Um... Whew, the, the backup four. That's, that's the one that's killing me right now. That's the one that's killing me. Let's game the system. Mark Williams, welcome to the team. One of them is going to be better at the four. Okay, never mind. Um, but Jared Allen's going to run the four because rebounding is king. All right. Uh, is this our... Is this our... They want Steph Curry to come off the bench. I'm just realizing that. Let's not do that. Uh, let's do this, right? Let's do this. Give the minutes to Jokic. Come on, man. We're trying to go 82-0. Jokic, you don't need a lot of rest. We're going to get you some rest. That's eight minutes for Mark Williams. We're going to get you some rest now, my boy. But we need you to get 44 minutes. Steph Curry. Oh, Anthony Edwards is better at this point. So Anthony Edwards gets 40. Steph Curry gets 36. Is this my 80 to a no team? Um, I want to make sure that all of our things are covered. So I'm going to make sure everybody has a backup position. Even Jokic. Everybody has one backup position that they can run. Just in case somebody gets into foul trouble, we make it happen. I'm nervous as heck. I'm so nervous that I just ruined everything that I just did. That's how nervous I am. Let me do it back. <laughs>
Let's go over our system proficiency real quick. Post centric works because we have Nikola Jokic. Seven seconds of less works better. Uh, balance works better. We're just gonna go and see if there's a really good coach that doesn't have a job right now, just in case. Uh, the answer is no. We kind of run with what we got. That's fine. That's fine. Let's get to simulator, baby. Let's get to simulator. Is this the year? Is this the time? Fill a roster, but actually don't mess with my rotation now. Don't mess with my rotation. Okay, rotation is back. I cannot believe it, bro. The third week of the season, we lose to Bam and Josh Giddy. I can't make this up. I can't make, Jokic had a 32 point triple double with zero turnovers and we lost still. I cannot make it up. I, I just can't do it. This team, Given the salary cap and everything, this team is as good as it can get, man. I don't understand how people can go 82 and 0. If we go 81 and 1, okay, we lost another game to J Dub and them. Oh, this is a Joel to be revenge game, isn't it? Uh, no, he sucked. But Paul George used to play for us, and J Dub used to play for us. So it's three players revenging. I just, uh, where did I go wrong? You let me know. Let's see what our final uh, record ends up being. We obviously went wrong somewhere. Just don't know what it was. Dang, man. We do get Jokic to win another MVP. Um, these two guys keep doing their thing together. Uh, we lost three games. Was it the defense? It might have been the defense. <sighs> well, we tried to get Giannis. That would have helped the defense. We tried to get Jason Tatum. That would have helped their defense. Definitely. Uh, Paul George is still doing great things at, at this age. We traded him a couple years ago, and he's still doing great. Yeah. All defensive teams. We traded away Amin Thompson. To get Scoot back. Was that the right idea? I tried to get Evan Mobley instead of Victor, uh, instead of um, Zion. They were not budging. He don't even average crazy numbers, but I knew his defense was going to be there. Actually, his numbers are better than I t anticipated. Uh, of course, we tried Wimby a bunch of times during this video. We used to have John Isaac. He wasn't going to play on this team. DeAnthony Melton, shout out to him. Man, man, man. Three losses. Three losses. It's fine. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Are we going to win a championship pretty easily? Jokic versus, who is that? Versus Kay Cunningham. And with the Golden State Warriors, will we win? The answer is absolutely. You enjoyed it. Leave it a like. And I will see you all in a few days. 2K24 right around the corner. I got nothing but bangers planned.